moving right along looking at my reference photo we've created the background now let's work on the header this little strip up here creative comics group Edison High School Graphic Arts and this little bit right here okay so I'm gonna come back over to our project file and let's get started let's take the rectangle tool and below my margin here right if we look below the blue um, line we're gonna come outside and I'm gonna drag all the way out like this going off the edges and let's see I'm gonna guess I don't know it doesn't have to be exact but I do it around one inch let me see let me look at that that looks about right I think it's about one inch high now we have this rectangle fill color of white. We want to look back at our reference. We want to fill that with red. So I'm going to click on my fill color right here. Whoops. Click on that red color like that. Then we can add a stroke right here, but that's not the way that I want to do it. I'm going to actually click on stroke and say no stroke and instead I'm going to double click and add the stroke as a layer effect. All right, I'm going to click stroke. We want it to be yellow. We want our stroke to be on the outside and we want it to be 24 pixels. So 24 pixel stroke outside, right? There's a down arrow. There's these three options. This way it's outside of the rectangle. This way it's on the inside. This way it is center. Maybe we'll do center. I'm gonna, we'll try center. 24, center, blend mode normal, pasty 100. I'm gonna click on our color and we want yellow. We want 55, 100, 100 and click okay. And then click okay again. I'm gonna take my selection tool and click off and now you can see we have that yellow stroke if we look back it's kind of what we have going okay now I'm going to take my type tool and I'm going to click not on the rectangle because that does something different I'm going to click off of it something like that and I'm going to change my font to impact and impact 48. We're going to have it 48 point font. I'm going to color my font. I don't want white. I want that same yellow as the stroke. 55 for the hue, 100 for the saturation, and 100 for the brightness. Then I'm going to type out Creative Comics Group. And I'm going to move Creative Comics Group up here, somewhere in that zone, right? Get it kind of close, something like that. I'm going to take the Type Tool again, click down here. This one is going to be White, Edison High School Graphic Arts. So we're going to switch it to White. All the way in the upper left-hand corner, 55,100. Click OK. We're going to stay with Impact. But this time we're going to make it a whole lot smaller. We're going to make it 16 points and we're going to type out, oops, we're going to type out Edison if I can type properly Edison High School all caps and then I'm going to hit return then we're going to make graphic arts 24 point, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. Again, all caps, graphic arts, and you notice there's this big, huge gap in my letting. Easy enough to fix. Command A to highlight them all. I'm going to come over to my character over here, my character palette, and right here on this one on the right, that is set the letting okay 
I'm going to hit the drop down arrow and I'm going to make the leading, I'm going to try 18 points. And that looks about right. 18 point leading. Now I'm going to take my move tool and I'm going to move this right up so it lines up something like that with Creative Comics Group. We can look back and we're looking pretty close. Okay. Now we need to make a new rectangle group here. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool again and I'm going to click and drag and make this width. Let's see, two inch width looks pretty good. Maybe, let's see, 2.3. I'm going to go about 2.3 by 3.7, somewhere around there, it doesn't have to be exact, something like that, 2.33 by 7. We do not want it on top, so I'm going to drag this layer all the way down below the rectangle, okay? Then if we're looking at a reference, I'm going to fill it with black and a yellow stroke. So I'm going to fill it with black, yellow stroke, fill with black, no stroke right here and instead double click on the layer effects Oops. add a stroke make it yellow 55 100 100 that gives us the same yellow we've been using and I'm going to click OK and we want to make sure we match the same pixel width. So we're going to do 24 for the stroke. And instead of outside, we are going to do center like we did on the main strip. And we're going to click OK. Then looking back at our reference, we can see we're going to have another rectangle on there. So. I'm going to have my rectangle tool active again and then I'm going to drag across like that and have the height around 0.8 somewhere in that zone. I'm going to take this stroke. I'm going to right click, copy layer style. That's from our big rectangle. I'm going to go back to our smaller rectangle, right click, and then I'm going to choose paste layer style. Oh, there we go. Close my properties for now. Take my selection tool. Now you can see we have something like that. I'm a little bit bigger to the right. So I'm going to hit command T and I'm going to move this over just until it snaps like that. Now it's lined up perfectly. Take my type tool and it's going to be a 25 cents for this issue because it's an old school comic. So I'm going to click outside here. I'm going to have impact size 48, 25. And the way you do cents on a Mac, option and four. That's going to give us 25 cents. And we're going to move that right in there. And this is the first edition released in January. So type tool, click in the space here. I'm going to drop down, make it 36 point, keeping it impact and white. So 36 point font, one. I'm going to hit return, J-A-N for January. If yours is not centered, highlight it all and center it. And we need to bring the one up. You notice it is running into January. So we're going to do some letting. So with them both highlighted, option, and down arrow. Just so that there's a little thin little space there. All right, let's move that in there. Something like that. Move it down my down arrow just so I kind of have a margin on the top and the bottom. And then I want to add a rectangle right there. We can do a line. I think rectangle will be easy or easier. I'm going to eyeball it. 
make it look about the width of the stroke. Make sure it has no stroke. And we are going to do a yellow fill. And right here is my recently used colors. I'm going to click on that yellow, click off. Now you can see we have something looking similar to that. Our margins are a little bit off, but it's still okay. Next, we need to bring her face and put it in here. So I'm going to go down, open up the toggle on my background group. I'm going to take black night layer and duplicate it. I'm going to drag the duplicate outside of background like that. Oops. Outside. Toggle background closed. And I'm going to want my duplicate above this big rectangle. We're going to do a clipping mask. Take my move tool and I'm going to move the face something like that. And we're going to use the rectangle box to clip the rest of her. The way we can do that is I'm going to hold Option and click in between these two layers. So our copy of Black Knight and the rectangle option is going to point down to say Clippy Mask. And I'm noticing that her face is cut off and if I look over here more of it fits. So my rectangle is too small. So I'm going to come to Rectangle 2 Command T for transform. And I'm just going to stretch that down like that until it reveals more of our Black Knight character and return to set it. That pretty much gives us this header. This is a title. We're going to do that separate. But I think we pretty closely matched it. I think our bar here is a little bit bigger. This one's a little bit smaller, but we're pretty close, close enough. Uh, maybe on this upper rectangle here, I will make it a little bit smaller. Command T, and I'm going to drag up on the bottom like that. Hit return to set it. I'm going to take my text. I have an extra layer there. Let me just delete that. That was extra. I'm going to take Creative Comic Group and hold shift, click on Edison High School Graphic Art, so they're both selected, up arrow on my keyboard, and just kind of center it like that. Then I'm going to have to refix this rectangle a little bit. So we actually are going to make it smaller like we had it before. So I'm going to drag that up about halfway through her lip, hit return. I'm going to take my other rectangle, this is my thin line, divider. I'm going to hold shift on January 1st, shift on 25 cents, and shift on the small re rectangle, and then up arrow to move those up until it looks like it's the right stroke thickness. So sometimes, you know, since I'm recreating it, my sizes were a little bit off. I just wanted to do that little extra step so that this margin between um, on the bottom and the top wasn't so big. I just think it looks better like that. Okay. So now there we go. We got our header. Let's um, actually, we can move her up a little bit or Command T and maybe actually bring that back down again. All right. There we go. A couple extra steps, but. We got to where we want, so we're good.